All right, Dr. Ragusea, let's go over the rest of the qualities of self-actualizing people. Okay, yeah, it's important to note that nobody's ever self-actualized. Mm -hmm. They are always becoming, and therefore they're becoming self-actualized. In mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, um, self-actualizing people tend to have a fresher appreciation of the good things in life. It's it's almost as if they experience awe and wonder and joy the way a child does on an ongoing basis every day. Mm -hmm. You know, some people saw that in Einstein's face. And Einstein was one of the people that Maslow thought was self-actualizing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, self-actualizing people tend to be, m more often, they tend to have what's called oceanic or transcendental or peak experiences. Um, they seem to have these moments when they are aware of the hugeness of the universe and the smallness of themselves and, and feel empowered by that experience somehow. Um, it's, a, it's a concept that most of us have had a couple of times in our lives when we were just aware of the universe and our place in it and felt good about that. Mm -hmm. Self-actualizing people tend to have that experience very often. Mm -hmm. okay. Self-actualizing people experience profound identification affection for and sympathy with all of humanity. They care about everybody else um, in, a, in a way that's often talked about but in a relatively shallow way. And that is they see everybody as their brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? And um, for them it has a very deep meaning, not a, not a shallow meaning. Okay. Okay? Self-actualizing people tend to have a philosophical unhostile sense of humor, okay? Self-actualizing people would not ever watch America's Dumbest Videos, mm -hmm. where somebody gets a soccer ball in the crotch for the 437,000th <laughs> time, right. and everybody laughs while he falls on the floor in pain. Mm -hmm. They would not find that funny, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Mark Twain had a self-actualizing kind of sense of humor. Mm -hmm. He never tried to hurt anybody with his jokes. He tried to make us philosophically wiser with them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay? Um, and then last of all, self-actualizing people, at least last of all for today, self-actualizing people tend to be creative. Mm -hmm. um, without exception, Maslow found these folks would be creative in a wide variety of ways. It's not just by painting or sculpture. He found uh, one secretary in his department at Brandeis would create office management techniques that nobody else could come up with. Um, and and he, he saw her as self-actualizing in a variety of different ways. And that was one of them. She was just very creative as an office manager. Mm -hmm. Now, what self-actualizing people are, are not and never will be is perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. What they are is becoming as much as we can be, but never achieving perfection, which is impossible for human beings. Right. And they're okay with that, right? They they're are okay, okay with not How, being It can't perfect. be any other way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And do they ever feel that they reach their full potential either? And the answer is no, mm -hmm. because they know they're always becoming something else. Mm -hmm. They're looking forward to what they're going to be next month, next year, next 10 years. Wonderful. That's, I think that this is so great. And what if you don't have all of these qualities? What if you have some of the qualities, but not all 12 of the ones that you mentioned? And, and, the, answer, and the answer is, that you keep striving for them. Mm -hmm. um, uh, almost none of us have all of these qualities. Right. Okay? In fact, most self-actualizing people don't have all of these qualities. Mm -hmm. They have most of them. So what we do is we strive to be better in a variety of ways. This is just a model that we can hold up for ourselves and say, that's what a good person is like. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try and be like that. Right. Strive for that. Yeah. That's great. Well, thank you for being on the show this morning, Dr. Ragusea, for sharing all of this information with the viewers. And thank you for tuning in this morning. I'll be back tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. and again at 8.30 a.m. Take care and have a great rest of your day.